I'll uh, explain some of the other ones. So in this example, this one kind of trips up a lot of students. Um, and the main important thing, guys, when we're doing a problem like this is to make sure that you have your x um, with a coefficient of 1. So the first thing that I would do is rewrite this as e to the negative 2x plus, uh, plus 4. Then you guys can see I can factor out a negative 2. So now, Kelsey, I have e to the negative 2 times x minus 2. Okay, so that tells me a couple different things. One, I'm going to have a, um, I'm going to have a uh, horizontal compression on the uh, inside of my function. So I'm going to have a compression. Uh, actually, two, yes, compression. Horizontal compression, I am going to have a reflection. And I am going to here reflect the y-axis. And then you guys can see x minus 2. That means I'm going to shift two units right. So when graphing this, remember, guys, if you remember, every exponential graph here is crossing at 1 until you do the transformations, right? So here is my normal graph. That's what we call my parent graph, y equals e to the x. Now I am going to reflect it about the y-axis and then shift it over to the right two units. So it's going to look something like that. Got it? Uh, my domain is still going to be negative infinity to infinity. My range did not change, so that's going to be from 0 to infinity. I have a horizontal asymptote at y equals 0. And that's it. Sorry. There we go. And there we go. That's all you need to know.